Good morning, everyone. It's 9 p.m. in Germany, and I'm so tired because I wasted my time last night with watching the Vikings until four o'clock in the morning. We've reached 5,000 followers on this channel. Our little community is growing and I'm very, very excited about that. I know that there are so many people out there who really want to discover the world of improvisation or become better in sketching, but don't know how to do that. I received so many questions from all over the world, but before I'm going to answer a few of them, I have something very important to say. I, love you forever. I really appreciate that you appreciate what I am doing. Now that I've expressed my love for you, let's dive into my first Q&A. The first question that I got is from a Swedish girl and it's like uh, the best question ever. It's who are you? <laughs> Who am I? Yeah, that's a good question. I want to introduce myself to you guys. I never did that before. My name is Judith Gippert. In English, it's Judith. <laughs> Judith. Yes, in Germany, it's Judith, like you did something very bad last night. Hey. My friends call me Judy. You can also do that. Judy, booby doom doo, Judy, ooby doo doo. I'm a professional musician and vocal coach since like forever. I know that my English is not perfect at all. I never thought of myself as a singer. The voice is just an instrument that I am playing. Also studied piano, but I'm so shitty on it. My piano teacher told me, okay, you pass the exams if you promise to not ever tell anyone that I was your piano teacher. <laughs> I've started to sing um, when I was a child. I think every child sings, or at least should, but yeah. The next question that I'm going to answer is how I started with vocal improvisation. Okay, when I had my first bands, and we were practicing in a very dirty, stinky, smoky, gross rehearsal room. There were like hundreds of pigeons that settled down next to our rehearsal room. It smelled so bad. Then we made a very nice song. It was called It Smelled So Bad. <laughs> I think you want to drive me mad. Because you're happy when I'm sad. We wanted to make original songs and I never had the lyrics done because I'm a lazy person and I was very busy with wasting my time. So I just had to sing something that came into my mind to get everything going. What I found out is that nobody noticed it. That was a very releasing point for me. So because I suffered from procrastination, I found out improvisation was something that was like made for me. I felt free, you know. In my opinion, you absolutely don't need lyrics for an emotional statement in music. One of the questions that I got the most is how did you learn to sketching? I am absolutely not finished with learning sketch singing. I will never reach the point where I think I'm done. I will learn for the rest of my life. Yeah. But I will tell you some of the points that I would call game-changing for me. That I discovered. The first thing that we have to understand is that sketch singing is not the goal that we want to reach. We want to be free in making music with our voice. So many singers are captured in their ego, like I am a singer, 
I have to sing so good all the time. Actually, it's fun. Music is fun, don't you think? <laughs> so why should we be so strict with ourselves? You need a sense of humor to be free in improvisation. You can't do do ba de da de da ye ba do ba de da de la do bum de da do da da f like that. No, it's like do bum de do da 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 do ba bo ba ba bo. Use your mouth. We don't want to be pretty all the time or sexy. <laughs> you know, just relax a little bit. Another awesome tip if you want to become good in scat singing is that you're very, very bad at all other instruments. I was so bad at all of those instruments that I started to copy them with my voice. I still do this today a lot, all of the time. Another very important point, another game changer, was to find the right motivation. Yes. Well, I've learned scat singing because I practiced scat singing. But how did I start to practice? You only start to practice if you have the right motivation. That's a very important point. I should do a whole video about that. If you like me to do one, please let me know in the comments. Oh, it's the first time I said that. Let me know in the comments. I'm a real YouTuber now! I think that's enough for today. I've shared so much with you already. If you want to know more, let me know in the comments. I am so looking forward to the next questions, to my next Q&A and to the next videos. Please enjoy the rest of your Duba day. Tschüss!